Hello everybody, welcome back to the Craft Beer Hub. I've got another beer review for you and it is of this. This is the Budvar Dark Lager. This is a 500ml bottle. It cost me £1.59 out of home bargains, which seems on the face of it a bargain or a home bargain to me. Um, it's 4.7% ABV. I've never had this beer before and I'm excited because the go-to lager that's in my fridge all the time is Budvar. I love a Budvar. Um, the best glass of Budvar I ever had was from this very glass that I've got here. Um, it was poured by Redeem, who I believe is now Global Brand Ambassador. He had a promotion since I've seen him. Um, Redeem, I believe his surname is Zivanovic. Uh, he's on Instagram. Um, he's always on some amazing beery tours. But I spoke to Redeem. He actually, I was absolutely battered by this time at Brew London. I was doing the two-stage pour, probably annihilating it. Um, but the telltale sign of a Budvar Draft pour is a beautiful creamy head. Now, a little we're going to back up a little bit. I did just pour this beer. Realised the GoPro wasn't on. That was my fault. It wasn't the GoPro. See, it's all just pants around here. But let's. I've already opened the bottle. There's a lovely, um, lovely sprout of uh, smoke from the bottle opening. Let's get this in the glass and see what we get. Boom. There we go. What do we have here then? We have got a really dark copper. It's not entirely... I can see the ring light through it. Um, it's not entirely black, but that's fine by me. It shouldn't be. Um, really dark, deep, dark, deep copper. Beautiful, creamy, one finger off white head. That looks dark lager every single day of the week. Um, looks fantastic in the glass. I've got the right glass for it as well, which is always nice. Uh, let's get our snouts in. Um, see what the, we get on the aroma. There is a breadiness from that malt. It's spicy. It's slightly floral. There's a lovely kind of burnt caramel, almost treacle aroma coming out of this, which is absolutely lush. But that's that aroma, which it's a good sign for me, This uh, that, that aroma coming after the normal lager aromas. That aroma is after those normal lager aromas. So hopefully, hopefully, this is a proper decent Budvar lager with just a hint of that dark malt. That's, that would be fantastic. Um, I believe Budvar use SARS hops. Um, I, hopefully they're in here. Well, I haven't looked at the bottle. I don't know. Um, let's just go in, shall we? Cheers. Oh, the roasted malt at the back. This is almost a three-stage beer, and you don't normally get that with lagers. Um, you get your normal lager, you get your, you get your normal bready, malty character up front, a little bit spicy up front. The middle is caramel. It's not overly sweet, though. It's more, like I say, more, more burnt. A lot of the sugar, it's almost like a lot of sugar's been taken out of it. And then right at the end, you get a lovely hoppy bitterness. And then right at right at the end, you get the bitterness from the roasted malts. And that comes just a little bit of chocolate, just a little bit of coffee. Only just, only just. Um, but all in all, all that means is when it's all put together, it just makes absolute sense. Um, it's absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. It's just turning the, the warmer months on their way. This is absolutely lovely. And for £1.59 a bottle... That is delicious. It's never really all that sweet at any point. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot sweeter than it was because a lot of the dark lagers nowadays are quite sweet. It's not really ever that sweet. Um, it's just got loads of quality. There's loads of quality. The dark the dark malt doesn't override the, the kind of typical lager characteristic of, of this beer. Um, you only know it's really dark malt from about halfway forward um, and on the aroma. The start of the beer, you get your typical grassy, um, spicy, bready flavours from the malt at the start. That fades away, and in the middle, the caramel, sort of burnt, that burnt, lovely burnt caramel comes in, which gives way to uh, the roastable bitterness. It's absolutely lovely. Let's have a look at the back of the bottle then, or let's have a look at the front of the bottle first. It's got the Budvar logo on the front. There we go. Um, 
24 IBUs. Typical Budvar on the front of the label, the back of the label. The ingredients are water, barley malt, pale Munich caramel and roasted malt. SARS hops, contains barley, imported by Budvar UK. And there's not a whole lot else in the back there. Uh, it's brewed in Czeski Budweis uh, in the Czech Republic. I believe that Budvar is a government-owned company. I believe the Czech government own it. Um, which is pretty cool in the sense that I suppose there's always going to be a bit of money behind it to retain a bit of quality. And it gets the whole country behind it. Um like I said before, that is available right now for £1.59 in home bargains. Um, I highly recommend you pick it up. I really, really do. It's a 500ml bottle, £1.59. You, you pay... I'm not even going to go into the other lagers that are available and what you pay for them. Um, but in terms of quality, actual quality, as, as in how good a beer is, um, I don't think you're going to spend your money better than getting a bottle of this. Um, it's absolutely lovely. It really, really is. Um, I don't normally like dark lagers. Well, I say I, I do. I don't normally like hybrid styles, is what I should have said. I find that they're never, they're neither kind of here or there, um, and as a result, they never really hit the mark for me. But this is actually lovely. Um, the dark malt's been put together really well with just a very good lager, um, and it's produced a fantastic beer, and for one pound fifty nine as well. Um, absolutely bonkers it says surf cold on the back it absolutely was when i cracked the bottle uh before i i, ha I had my malfunction um it was probably around about four or five degrees so yeah that should be should be absolutely bang on and i mean look at the glass the lace on the glass shows you the quality of the beer look at that it just it's just a it's just a fantastic beer oh look at that it's kind of got almost like a guinness-esque development on it from a lager absolutely crazy guys thank you so much get in the comments let me, let me know if you have this i think it's newish it might i don't know it's newish on the home bargain shelves i haven't ever seen it before to be honest i've seen it a little bit on redeem's um instagram but um it's the first time i saw it in the flesh so i thought you know what i'm gonna have a bottle of that uh guys yeah let me know like subscribe guys if you'd be so kind i'll see you on the next one cheers